Hello and welcome back to Star Control Origins. I wanted to show this thing off. I mentioned this just a little bit in the first episode, but we can craft our own ships and upload them to the Steam Workshop. Well, I'm going to show off some of the things that I found in there. We have, uh, here, in downloaded ships, I have downloaded the Enterprise, the Defiant, the Falcon, and Serenity. So, with this, you can do, like, multiplayer or whatever else. And, you know, if you remember the old Star Control, you can do, like, little fleet battles. So let's uh, here. Let me just let me just dump this one out so I can pick up a couple of these ships, just to see what we can actually put in here. You can go into the editor and create your own ships, which is how these were created and then just uploaded to the site. Um, I guess what we'll to do is do. Is do I just want to see what happens. Let's just see how this works and see how the Enterprise and Serenity plays out. Uh, you can do this local multiplayer, or you can do this. Uh, I think online it says multiplayer, so I assume that's how this works. I've not tried it yet, um, but let's pick. We'll go with Serenity first. And, uh, yeah, there it is. There, what, what does it have? Oh, it salvage and a, and a, and a flat cannon. Okay, okay. Can I choose a different one? I can surrender and exit. Okay, well, there you go. That's all I wanted to show off. There's an example of, of what? I gotta see the Enterprise. Hang on, hang on. Before we get anywhere else, I gotta see the Enterprise. It's a little bit funny looking. What does it have? There's torpedoes and, okay. And a shield. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, we did it. Alright. Yeah, it's a little bit of funny looking Enterprise, but but I'll take it. Okay, okay, enough of that. Uh not sad, I wanna go. Let's go, uh let's go play the game. Okay, so you can do that. Here we go. So you have custom matches we can set up what the field or whatever, you need multiplayer over there, a local match, of course. Uh let's go back into the game here. Nook to that one. Load it up. Okay, back into the game where we were before. Last time we left off, we uh, well, we had a big day. We went to Interstellar for the first time. We met a couple different races. We may have murdered some refugees. We're now on our way back to Earth to restock. Try to get, we're down to like a, like 14 crew on board our ship, so we got to get back. All, All right. right, so we are out in Proxima Centauri is where we are. We have only 13 crew, so we probably should head back to Sol. Uh, I don't want to risk the lives of anyone else on board my ship before we... Uh, lose the ship. So let's go ahead and head back and uh, and say hello to Earth. But let's head back here and gather some crew, I guess. Let's see what Commander Skylar has to say to us. Welcome back, Captain. Well, it's good to be back. Um... Yeah, we saw... Okay, we should we tell her about that? No, no, we just need a resupply. That's the reason we're With here. With the help of the Taiwam, we've finally been able to bring our module manufacturing equipment online. You'll now be able to build a variety of new modules to upgrade your ship's capabilities. And keep an eye out for any weird bits of alien technology. Will do. We might be able to adapt anything you find into a new module for your ship. None of this will be free, though. Modules and hyperdrives require exotic materials we just can't synthesize fast enough. Which means if you want ship upgrades or escort vessels, it might be faster to collect the materials yourself. From the shipyard, you can use RU to refuel your vessel, upgrade it, or build escort vessels. That last sentence was a different voice actor, right? She sounded <laughs> different. Um, let's go to the shipyard. Is this where we get to... Okay, this is this. Um, now, can I do anything about this? I can remove you. I don't want to do that. I can... I can recruit another defender if I wish to. I don't have... I'm not going to spend my money for that. I don't have the money for that even. Uh, okay, so we want to outfit our ship, though. Can we do anything here yet? Allow battles to automate be automatically controlled? Huh? Would I want to do that? Just can't land, right? This thing will help do its best to land my lander's best. Okay, we're going to... Oh, and you got screw quarters, and that's uh, fuel tanks. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. So, none of this... Um, oh, we do have Navigator Window along with us now. Oh, okay, okay. Um, sure. Welcome aboard, buddy. Uh, I do want to trade and sell off this stuff. And I want to buy some things. I need to buy another lander because we, uh, had a mishap. Uh, I will take all of that. Crew automatically come on board. Okay, so we should be ready to go. I guess we can stash four landers on here if we wish. I think I'm good, though. You're good. Now, if I want to build another Anything ship... Anything else, Captain? How do I do... Can I do that? I have some questions. About what? About none of those things. Wait, what do you think we should do next? That's a good we question. We don't know much about this galaxy right now, Captain. Other than the fact that it's pretty dangerous. 
I'd suggest you spend some time collecting resources from nearby stars and using those to upgrade your ship. More fuel tanks will probably be your biggest concern initially. After that, more weapons, more thrusters, and more crew pods. And you'll also want to increase your fleet of escort ships. I don't think you'll want to risk your flagship in combat that often. Oh, okay. Good call. Um, Anything okay. else, Captain? Uh, I guess I'm good. I guess I'll mention this. Yeah, yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain, finding out what happened to the Lex sites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? We already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to find new information about the Lex sites whoa, 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 and whoa. the galaxy around us. I'm just us. reporting things to you. No need to get snotty. Need uranium to operate, yeah. Uranium? Do you have any idea how much paperwork needs to be done to bring radioactive materials into orbit? It would take years, Captain. That's not a joke. I'm sorry. You'll have better luck finding that yourself. You've got resource collection landers. Use them. You'll probably be able to find that on Mercury. Or maybe Io. Oh, should we do that? No. We're Good gonna luck, explore Captain. the galaxy. That's what we're doing. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, no more snarky talk. Alright, let's uh, let's go ahead and head back out. We're gonna go back into the galaxy and head somewhere else. Uh, I would like to get some other ships joining me. We'll figure out eventually how to craft another escort ship and get them to join us. Um, and, and maybe we can bring in the Defiant as an escort ship. That would be very cool. Or the Enterprise. But let's head out here. And I guess next time we go into combat, we'll use one of those Taiwan ships to do the combat. Might be a good idea. Okay, so we have a star. We went to this one. We haven't been to this one. I thought there was going to be another one close by here, but there is not. Uh, there's a big gap here. We could go to either these two, Alpha Centauri, or up here to Ross and Wolf 359. Maybe some Federation parts around there. Uh, let's go this way. Head up to Ross up here. Let's see what's going on. There is a ship there we see. Let's see who they are and what do they do. So I guess our main mission here is to just go jump on a bunch of planets, pick some things up. That planet is glowing. Can we land here? Is this a safe place to land? Uh, it seems okay. Lifeless, non-toxic? Yeah, I'll launch here. If I can direct my ship a little better. A little bit rock rocky, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up some fluorine and all that. Sure, sure. What was that green thing? Oh, it's a vent. We don't want that. So yeah, we'll pick up some some bits here, and uh, I guess that's kind of our main mission to begin with, is, is to explore strange new worlds and, and seek out uh, various elements. Oh, we're full. That's why I can't carry anything else. Okay, uh, let's go back out. And I guess I can go launch again if I want more stuff, but no, no, I want to, I want to explore the galaxy. I don't care about artifacts or, or minerals. Uh, let's see why this planet is green. The name of that planet is Tron? Well, we're going there. Obviously. No one owns this system. I don't see any ships around here. But we gotta go to Tron. Unidentified object is there. Okay, I'll launch. Lifeless, non-toxic. There's a lot, a lot of lightning. It's easy landing here. I guess it has to do with, uh, I think, winds. There's winds out there, and that is causing some problems. Where is this unknown object? Let's avoid the lightning bolts as much as possible. And find... Yes, that. There's some gold... There's some uh, lead. Gold up on that mountain's gonna be hard to get. So let's go... Yeah, here it is. What is this? What are you? Found a wrecked ship, Captain. Huh? We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Oh. Okay, okay. Is that how we get escort ships? Because that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So now we have a ship. How, do we have to take it back? Who is this? No, I don't want to go here. Who is this? Let's go say hello. And I, I'm curious what we... I mean, we make money off of this stuff. I guess I guess is what we're going to use this thing. Zontar. Yeah. Hail. Hello. There you are. Just like the weird alien I'm looking for. Where's the voice acting? 
I'm not a weird... Uh, this weird alien is happy to help. Right, because we're friendly. Such courage, yeah? Facing the world looking like you do. Well then, to business. I, my repulsive friend, am an honest merchant. Happily, I have substantial shipment of merch to offload. Radioactive throw pillows, to be precise. Tragically for me, and profitably for you, my drop-off point is a present. Is that present infested with something. Naturally, I have a well-paid guard escort, but just between us, they're mostly useless. Don't even think about... Don't even think their guns are loaded. Okay. In fact, I wouldn't trust them to take out a, a gromulate with a Dorvo on a half a mega... Why isn't their voice acting? So yeah, it'd be great if you traveled to the nearby Wolf 359 system and uh, persuaded somebody just then... And just let me know the way is clear. Okay, why am I to trust you? Naturally, I shall compensate you handsomely for your troubles. That's why I should trust you. Um. Sure. That's the spirit. Grotesque one. Just let me know when you've cleared the way. Will do. Okay. Uh-huh. Sure, we'll go out there. Where's he going? He's going to do some visiting. Where's he going? Curious. Okay, yeah, well, why not? Wolf 359, sure. I always wanted to go there anyway. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Shoot the escort is our mission. Let's see where they are. It must be them. That's a big ship. That's a very big ship. Is that the one he wants me to... Let's just talk to him first. See what he has to say. Maybe he has voice acting. Come now, hey, come back here, very fast. Come back here. I'm here to talk to you. Uh, come back here. <laughs> He's so much faster than I am. I think maybe I need to upgrade my ship a little bit. We'll send in one of our escorts. If we have to come to a fight, we're gonna send our escort in. We're not gonna fight them, you know, all on. A Volzon frigate. Uh, who be you? Uh, we be humans. Hmm, humans never heard of them. You got anything worth plundering? You're pirates? We don't like pirates. Well, then it's been a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Let's celebrate by killing you. Okay. Uh, oh, that's my new one. Right? Let's use it. What does it do? Manual bolt. Oh, oh. And then a shield. Huh? Okay. Avoid that. Yeah. That's right. Where are you going, buddy? Pick up some things. Sure. This ship works. It's a hauler. Oh, okay. There we go. That actually worked. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, we're actually doing a lot of damage to this guy. My shields apparently are not working. We gotta wait for them to charge. Uh, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nice. We win 200. That's good. Okay, uh, let's go visit Vrom while we're here. Might as well. Oh, no surface. Right. This is this is the star? It's a brown dwarf star. Okay. Uh, let's visit this one over here. Does Wolf 359 actually have two stars in it? Oh, this one's green. Abundant biology. Non-toxic. Mild. We should live here. Uh, yeah, I'll pick these things up. I noticed this is not recording the greatest. A little bit on... This is actually a nice looking place. I think I should live here. Nope, nope, never mind. It's not nice at all. I take it all back. Let's just fill up the, the cargo hold and, and take off. I didn't find any sort of unidentified things. So there's nothing too crazy here. So we'll just stick with uh, picking up a few resources. Just filling the cargo hold and getting out. As quick as we can. Avoiding any uh, tornadoes. I don't know what resources are valuable. I haven't seen anything. I should. I guess I could look and see what. Oh, well, look at that. These things don't have any guns on them. Not that I would shoot the, the friendly dinosaur. Uh, come on, pick the thing up. Oh, I'm full. Um, but look at that guy. Uh, hello. See ya. All right. Polara. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to go back and tell the guy, hey, we did the dirt, we did the dirty work. And um, 
We'll see what he says. Maybe we made a friend. Uh, hello, friend. Hello again. How's giving those pirates what for coming? Uh, we murder the pirates for you. I knew that freakish appearance had to house within it a murderous essence. You don't know the half of it. Thank you, and congrats. Here's your well-earned wages. Now don't bother me. Six thousand? You gave me six thousand? Oh, man. Man, I kind of want to bother you again. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. Let's go to Ebru. Just because it's here and it's green. And we can fly there. He's a lot faster than I am. Captain, this looks like a pretty nice world. We should make a note of it for future colonization efforts. If we survive the next few years, that is. Okay. What makes this one better? Did the other one not have oxygen? Better than the other one. Okay, we got all kinds of good stuff around here. There's a hundred... Oh yeah, there's a big giant dinosaur thing again. This game has the diversity of No Man's Sky. I'm sorry, that's sorry. Old joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> couldn't, I couldn't control myself. And uh, I'm, we're going to take a look. I still have a, plenty of fuel here. Uh, we'll report this system back. Maybe they'll send out a colony ship of some kind. If I remember right, you find these sort of stations, and then they go and they do start sending out colony ships. I believe you can, like, escort them back. It's been a while. But I believe that's how the old Star Control worked. Welcome back, Captain. Um, Let's go to the shipyard. And so there it is, that one there. And I guess it's just there. You have a drone release is your secondary skill. I want to use a drone. And you have a shield, of course. We saw that. How do we... Oh, you're in here too. How do we go about, like, making more of these things? I can get a, another defender. I guess we have to just sort of find them along the way. Okay. Well, what about... Let's go and trade some things. We have tons of cash now. We got eight grand now. Let's sell all our junk off. We don't need it anymore. Star Control does. Uh, you don't want these? Super fluids? Sure, take them. I don't know what I will do them. Um, I will buy, I will fill up on fuel. Uh, I don't need another lander. I will, however, look at outfitting my ship. Now, can I do something with this? I don't want to do that. I can put um, another base. Oh, oh, point defense. Or an advanced nuke. Improved tracking and range. Short range laser with powerful auto targeting systems. Um, I'm going to go nuke. We want all nukes all the time. I'm going to, uh, uh, I guess you'll be basic. We'll have basic and secondary will be the advanced nuke. I'm okay with that. Um, I, I don't want to auto control battles. I'm a little concerned about that. It seems like something, a bad idea. She said fuel tanks are important. So let's, let's upgrade the fuel tanks. That's anti-grav thrusters, which help me fly, I guess. Uh, where's the fuel tanks at? Fine. Crew quarters it is. I don't want more crew quarters. That gives you, what, 25 more crew? Uh, where does the fuel tanks go? Fuel tanks. Oh, I can't put any in there. And we can put those things there. We gotta find new stuff. Let's go do some more exploring, I guess. We'll keep our cash. We got, we're a little bit cooler now. Let's Anything else, Captain? Nope, that's it. I, I found, by the way... Good luck, Captain. ...a place where we can live, if you care. Um, let's go... Where do we want to go now? I suppose we want to head out, and let's explore these last two down here, Alpha Centauri, down this way. We haven't hit Epsilon Trireme yet. But let's go visit these two over here and see what they have for us. Um, I guess we want to go visit... I don't want to go visit every planet... But we'll see if we can find maybe a new race uh, and get some sort of signs for, uh, for, for plants that we want to live on. Or not live on, but land on. So let's head, head out that way and see what we can find. Alright, Alpha Centauri A. Alpha Centauri! How many human stories involve coming to this place? Well, now you're here. And, you know, there are worse systems, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we'll go visit here. Well, there's a, there's like a Terran planet over there. Let's stop over there. Uh, yeah, we'll pick a few things. There's nothing really here. 
Inhospitable, non- I don't even care about this place. Don't even care about you. Let's visit this one over here. This one looks like something. Let's just see what they have. Another one over this way, too. Looks, looks habitable. Uh, abundant biology. Lots of stuff. Okay, I will land. There's a bunch of these these static clouds, however, on this one, so we're gonna be careful. It's 145 degrees, so a bit balmy. Grab that. Uh, there are critters here apparently too, so we're gonna avoid the critters as much as possible. Uh, we want to go. Can I, can I like jump? No. Woo! I want to. Uh, I should probably pick up that that uh, thing that allows me to fly, as as this guy. Maybe he help me. Avoid some of these mountains. Oh, oh, look at that thing. Uh, there's a giant crab. Hello, giant crab. Uh, I'm gonna not fly next to you because you look scary. There's another one. Yeah. Away we go. Piece of cake. We didn't see any of that uh, lutetium. Whoops. Okay, I want to go visit this green one over here. Does this one look... Weather mild, 15 degrees. This is the perfect planet. Last watch. Why don't we just live here? We gotta hit that part of the game. I wanna, I wanna start colonizing extra worlds, other worlds. Oh, we're full. Okay. Let's go visit the moon. Right over here. A four B. What is wrong with you? Hmm, okay. Alright. Not interesting. Well, let's go to the next Alpha Centauri. We got two of them to pick from. Here's Alpha Centauri's other Oranger Star. Bask in the orangeness, human. <laughs> okay, well, this one's got a name. These all have names. Let's visit. It's just flying around for no reason. Into the star. Yeah, it's very confused. Noras. Wait, we know the Noras, right? Thought I'd find you here. Where did the voice acting go? You are the by arm who destroyed the helpless Noras vessel in Proxima Centauri, are you not? Uh, no. Uh, no. Why do you lie to me, by arm? Pilot of that vessel is dear to me, a brother. In terms of analogous, analog, of yeah, I was waiting for him to at a rendezvous point and caught his last dying transmission. I will avenge him and put an end to your cruel marauding. No, no, it was a complete misunderstanding. We're using this one again. I knew that would come back to me. <laughs> Where are you going? What are you running away for? Uh, those are scary. Where's my shield? Why don't I have a shield? Well, I don't do that. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. This guy's a lot stronger than I am. Oh man! So what? Do we do it again? Oh, this one. This could be bad. Release the drones. Okay, drones out. Go do something. Oh, drones just, like suicided into him. Woo! Keep that drone out there. Oh, I thought I did it. No, he won. Uh, uh, we're losing our escorts. What's this one? Okay, he's not feeling too good now. We got him this time. Watch out for those. Don't run into those. You shoot already. This guy's a lot tougher. Oh boy! Oh, my escorts! Uh, okay. You made me bring out the big one. Okay, that one hit. Advanced nuke. Oh, I missed him! It was very close. Come here, buddy. Advan- Okay, basic nuke got him. That's all we need to do. Excellent! Okay, okay. Uh, that's- That's not very nice. Uh, okay, let's leave this system. We don't want to be here anymore. We've made enemies, but I guess we've, we have cleaned up our enemies as well. So, uh, job's done. 
Uh, I think we want to go... So we've got those explored. I guess we can go up here to Barnard Star. Explore that. And then run back to Earth after that. Reef stock. And then maybe go to the southeast. We have a colony on Scarlet. If you want to stop by and say hi. But I would totally understand if you didn't. Where is Scallop? There it is. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, we'll go there. We do want to go to the capitals of those other uh, folks, the other empires. So that's what we'll probably, that's where we need to be going. We need these these close ones explored first, but we'll make our way out there also. Yay! Our new best friends have stopped by to hang out. Exactly. Uh, what is this place? This is one of our friendship colonies. It's where we send Taiwan who have a hard time making friends at home. The colony with the least popular Shh, Taiwan. Don't let them hear you. <laughs> uh, what do you do here? Normal colony stuff. Science. Reading books. So oh, when we get in lots of arguments about comics. Um, sure, fuel. Of course, best friends. I will take some fuel. Um, okay, later. Bye. That was exciting. Okay, uh, so we do want to go visit... Where's my objectives? Um, we need to go back to the base on the moon with uranium, right? We need to make contact with these folks, all their home worlds. Muke, Menmek, and Drinkend. Are they anywhere near us? The Muke are somewhere around here. Where is their home world, though? Is it called Muke? That would be really nice. Which one is their home world? How are we supposed to know? Hmm. I guess we go over there and we just figure that out. Uh, and then we also need to go to up here. These guys' home world, wherever that may be. And... The other folks are way out this way. Okay. Well, we're already over here. We could make our way... We could make a jump west. west space west. And see what they have. See, see about over there. When we have to make our way back... When we do have to make our way back home, then we can... Actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we can come back and we can... Stop and find some uranium. I wanted to talk to you. Let me see if I can get another... Hello, best friends! Escort. Funny meeting you here. Uh, we need to borrow one of your ships. Really? Mm-hmm. We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! See ya. See you later, best friends. Okay, now we have another ship to help us out. So, let's go, uh, let's go Space West. Let's go to this one. What's going on over there? There we go. There's a big ship. Uh, lots of good stuff like gold. Unidentified object. Yes, please. What is that thing? There it is right there. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. Oh, excellent. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Yeah, do that. Ooh, this is, this is not friendly to OBS. Okay. It's not friendly to my ship either. I probably shouldn't dilly dally. Let's go ahead and just get out before I leave my ship. Okay. Excellent. Now, we still have to talk to these people. Where are you? And let me talk to you. A crustacean. Uh, no, no. Let's hail him. Don't fire at will just yet. What? A new alien in a delightful new spaceship. Look how hard you're trying. <laughs> Hello, hopefully friendly new alien. We are extremely friendly. Glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a senior Ingpod commander of the Mu K-9 fleet, representing the Federation of Allied Species. Uh, nice to meet you. We are humans. Likewise. Always nice to meet an alien who breathes through their gills and not their beak. Uh, tell us about where, uh, yourselves. Tell us we about yourselves. hail from Mukayan, a peaceful, shimmering world. 
Our oceans are filled with many different species, all beautiful in their own way. It was there that our people learned to live in harmony with other creatures, respecting them and the way they lived their lives. Except for fish. We really like eating fish. <laughs> yeah, screw the Eventually, fish. we learned of the world above the ocean and the universe above that. But when we took our first strokes into space, we continued to practice our theories of benevolent non-interference with all aliens that we met. Except for space fish, which, again, we enjoyed eating. You peacefully coexist with a scribe? We are peacefully repressed by the scribe. That's a type of coexistence. Squeak. Uh, tell us about your Federation. The Federation of Allied Species is the space-based organization representing the Muke and all other allied races. We believe in the exploration and the formation of peaceful relationships with all willing aliens. Unlike the Scribe, we treat younger races with respect, try not to interfere with their natural development, and don't step on them. Uh, the Scribe lets you form your own federation within their empire? Oh, no. The Federation is a bit of a side project for us. The Scribe wouldn't like it if they knew about it. Which is why we're technically the only members of it. Oh. Incidentally, please don't tell them about this. We'd really rather not get stepped on any more than we have to. Um, so can we join? That'd be great. Oh, wait. I don't think it's actually possible, oh. but that'd be great. Actually, inviting aliens into the Federation would risk great ruin for the Mukay. The Abyssal Consul certainly hasn't granted Inkpod commanders such as myself the authority to do anything like that. You could try asking them yourselves, I suppose. Uh, yeah, where's your homeworld at? You can find Mukayan in the Beta Pavo system. You'd be more than welcome to visit and splash in our pools. Or dine on our plankton. Mmm, yummy. Or blow small tender bubbles at your loved ones. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll be going now. Splish. So long. Okay, Beta Pavo. Which is where? Beta Pavo, right there. Let's go. And Muke, or Muke whatever is the name of the home realm. Mukea something. There it is. Okay. Lots of the ships flying around, but we're going to go visit and uh, see if we can join this federation. Federation of one. Who are you? That's not a Mukea ship. Avoid Talari. Many playful splashes, unknown alien. Oh, are the humans you've heard about? On behalf of the Federation of Allied Species, I welcome you. You guys all sound the same. Um, what's this Federation of yours? The Federation of Allied Species is an organization dedicated to the principles of peaceful cooperation and cooperative peace. We're all about peace. We're also interested in exploration, scientific advancement, and the consumption of fish. Uh, can we join? Accepting a new member is a tricky process. Actually, it's an unheard of process. If they found out, the scribe would stab us, then shoot us, then try us out. Then they'd repeat. So, no, let's go with no. But, uh, we could crush them if we work together. No. Yeah, yeah. The Scribe would crush us if we started working together. They're not big fans of armed rebellions. Um... How about armed, very quiet rebellions? Quiet, you say? Yes. Very quiet. Cool. You're not the first to point out the problems inherent in our Federation in its current form. The fact that it has only one member. Not much of a federation. The fact that we quietly stand by while curious young aliens such as yourselves get obliterated. And the fact that there are far too many fish out there that remain uneaten. These are questions that have been bubbling through our society for some time. 
But you are asking for a big thing. Admitting you into the Federation would risk a war with the Scribe. The Abyssal Council of the Muke cannot put our entire people at risk so lightly. There is something, though. A protocol we've blotted out for such momentous situations. We would require you to do something for us first. Demonstrate your commitment to the principle of peaceful cooperation. Peaceful cooperation is my middle name. Perhaps then the Abyssal Council would consider your petition for Federation membership. Uh, what is it? Our colony at Lakai 8760 has recently come under attack by the Drenkend. The Drenkend are large and cruel beasts the Scribe use as shock troops. Many Muke have already perished thanks to their bizarre and distressing attacks. Why is it bizarre? They kill us while shouting nonsense about ears. It makes no sense! But any fool whose adolescent tentacles have dropped can see that this is probably a ruse. The Scribe have begun to take notice of our Federation. If you need something beaten up, just ask. No, please don't. Oh, peaceful. If you cannot employ either the principle of cooperative peace or peaceful cooperation, you'll only make matters worse. Uh, we'll employ some kind of principle, all right. Please, please be careful. Uh, can we buy some supplies? Oh, can I get a ship of yours? Hyrian Interceptor is what that is. Can I get one of yours? No. I can bring one of these things in. I don't want to do that. Uh, can I trade with you? Will you buy this? I haven't paid any attention to how much these things sell for. But I'm going to sell you everything. Hey, what can I buy from you? Oh, just the same things. Okay, well, fill me up, please. Um, okay. Now, while we're here, can I throw on... I don't care about that. Can I, I can't get any more weapons on this ship. I can put more sensor... Well, I can't do that either. Um... Nothing really else I can do here other than these things, which which I don't have problems landing, and I don't know about this auto combat thing. It seems dangerous. Any game that has auto combat is always bad news. Um, okay. We're good. Anyway, we're going to call it a day here, put a cut. Thanks again for watching. Uh, next time, we are going to go, I guess, venture on into drink in space, and uh, or wherever they want us to go here, uh, and and deal with, uh, with this. Stop the drink and see whether they're attacking people. And Lukai 8760s. We're going to go there as well. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.